Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about five apps that every iPhone must have. I'm going to start with the very first one, which really does protect our privacy. And it gives us the choice to control our privacy. I'm going to start with an app called IP Firewall. IP Firewall, which you can get through Cydia. And what does it do? It actually um, tells you what every app is trying to do when it comes to um, um, making a connection with the server. So um, whenever an app is trying to connect to a server on the internet, this app blocks it and lets you, lets you know and you have the option to either block it or allow it. And it's not only a server, like any web address, anything that has to do with internet, it blocks it. Um, the app is called you can put only put in firewall and will come up like this firewall IP and actually right here as you can see right here on the top it says modify modify because I already have the app installed so you can once you come to this page you're gonna see install instead and then you hit it and you finish and it actually protects a lot of our privacy I can give you an example um, let's say I want to connect to YouTube here we go, you see? So the app pumped up and said YouTube tries to connect to contacts port 443. And here it shows you google.com, which is the address that the app is trying to connect to. You can allow it only once or always. Or let's say you deny the access, the app's access to google.com once or maybe always. Or there's the second option here. You allow all the connections that this app can do. Or you come to the other tab and you hit deny all the connections that this app is trying to do. To me, um, I like using um, the, the, iPhone, uh, the YouTube app and I'll just go ahead and allow always. And see, here it says YouTube tries to contact gdata.youtube.com. When it comes, when I see something that shows data, that means is my usage will be copied to a server. I just go ahead and hit deny, and the app will be still running. These are like a bunch of addresses that I don't really know what they are. I actually block them. Sometimes when you block a lot of addresses and you try to look up a song or a video or something in YouTube, you might not be able to do that because some some um, um, addresses are have to do with you know looking up songs for you and stuff like that. So I would advise you just to block the addresses that you're not sure about, or you just allow others so you can get the full access to the app that you like. Like in my case, I will put um, all connections. And maybe let's say here, but um, Kaka, it's a Brazilian soccer player. There you go. The app is accessible. All right. And if you want to make any changes, you can go to settings. Okay. Right here, you go down, you go then, and here we go. Where is it? It's called IP Firewall. It should be here. IP firewall. If it's not actually, it should be right here on the. I think I have it somewhere. IP firewall. Yep, firewall IP. There you go. All right. As you can see here, it shows all the um, all the addresses and the apps that I have already allowed to connect to the internet, and that includes mail, includes Skype, includes YouTube. And if you want to change anything, you can just here come here and change it. See here, always allow, always deny here at the bottom. You can do everything you want. And also, whenever you, you, feel, you think like you messed up, you can reset it or reset a certain settings like Skypes, and then you go back to, um, to it again later, and then you fix it. The second app is Contact Privacy. This is, I like this app. I really love it. This app pr protects... Are my contacts that I have like the phone numbers addresses and everything and you can just go ahead on CDN type in contact privacy as you can see it just right here you hit it and as like earlier here it shows modify because I have the app already installed and you can just go ahead and hit install if you've never installed it before and what does this app do 
is actually whenever there is an app that tries to connect or to your um, contact list, this app blocks it. And it asks you if either you want to allow it or block it too. Okay, I don't have like really some apps right here, but I use like um let's say Skype. Skype sometimes uses the contact numbers that you have if you want to call them if you have Skype credits. So this app will block Skype and wait for your permission. Okay, all right, we'll go to the third app, which I think it's very important to have, which called Cleanup. What does cleanup do? Cleanup actually, it's like if you if you work in a PC, you 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 should know or you've known probably you might have known the um, the clean cleanup C or C cleanup. That means clean the hard drive C. This is actually pretty much does does pretty much does the same job, and it's gonna clean your hard drive. Clean here. I'm sorry. Clean clean the iPhone. You see, just go ahead and install it and the icon will be on your um, home screen instead of modify to for me because I've already installed the app you're gonna see install and let me show you where the app is I think I have it right here yep here clean up all you can do hit clean up and then the, the, your device will be um, uh, will get cleaned up automatically and it will respring I cannot do it because if I do, it's going to respring and I'm going to lose the recording video that I'm doing right now. The um, fourth app, I think it's a very important to have, which is Psy Delete. Um, for the people who don't know what Psy Delete is, Psy Delete, you know, when you install a lot of apps through Cydia, um, whenever you want to delete, delete that app, you have to go back to Cydia and go you manage um pardon you go to manage packages and then you look up the app that you want to install or you want to delete off of your iPhone with side delete when you install side delete you're going to be able to delete the apps downloaded through Cydia just from here by pressing and you see that red box right there at the top corner you can hit that one and it's gonna go away. This is pretty much only available for the apps that you download through the, the app store, but with side delete, it allows you to delete the apps that you have downloaded through Cydia. And the last app that I highly recommend you to have, it's iFile. What does iFile do? It gives you access to the files or everything to every single file on your iPhone that you cannot um, um, have access to through the search bar that comes up whenever you want to search something and here it shows modify because I already have the app so um, you should just go ahead and hit install for you if you never installed it and this the app will be here on your home screen and so you can see I've already rearranged it and here I have installs activator and I file it's right here okay so you can go to documents installers and downloads and you see all the apps that you probably have downloaded through um, installers and also you go to let's say libraries and you go through a lot of stuff right here some problems sometimes if you have a problem with your iPhone there are some solutions when you only have to modify let's say um, le, um, um, I think a file or a, a line in a file and without having this app installed the iFile app installed you're not gonna have access to that file because Apple protects it because um, it's considered a part of the um, the system and it protects that file and it doesn't have doesn't give you the full access but with iFile you definitely have full access to everything as you can see here it's user um, documents everything you want um, logs local mobile device everything else well I think I'm done for now um, I think I'm gonna come back to you guys with um, other type of apps that you had that you should have um, like a cool apps like you see here on my screen and um, other cool apps that really makes more it makes the usage of your iPhone more enjoyable all right thank you very much if you have any question anything that I can help I would definitely 
be able to do so um, you just email call I mean sorry not call but email or leave a comment thank you